Hi guys, it's Andrew here from East Made Woods Better today and welcome back to the East Made channel. I am out here in the wood yard today. I am out here with something I don't do a lot of videos on. We're out here with an East Made 511 wood splitter. This is this is it guys. If you're looking for a small basic splitter with a log lift that is heavy enough to last you generations, th this is the machine. If you look at the price on this too, it's really not a really not too far out there compared to uh compared to a lot of the other ones once you start comparing features on them and i think you'll find that if you look at our splitters and our prices once you uh once you start adding options onto the other machines you'll find that uh ours normally will come standard with them um that being said guys like uh we've looked at a lot of splitters obviously you guys probably have too um there's a lot of great products out there if you're in the market for a commercial log splitter right now it's a buyer's market you have a lot of really really good choices a lot of really good companies to go with that are building good equipment and i don't think you'll go wrong with any of them um but anyways like i said this is our 511 it is the smallest horizontal machine that we build with the lift on it it is the same chassis as the 1222 same size beam as the 2228 all, all that stuff is common on them the biggest difference with this machine is you have a six and a half horsepower engine on it and you do not have auto cycle standard on it. Um, so what that amounts to to you is that it doesn't have as fast of a cycle time. This machine has the same tonnage, um, all, all that stuff is the same, wedges are the same as the bigger machines. The biggest difference is it cycles in 10 seconds instead of like six or seven like like our other machines so it's a little bit slower that being said if you don't need speed this would be a great way for you to save a couple of bucks and again buy a machine that you're going to be able to pass on your grandkids um so that's uh that's what i got anyways guys i'll run these this a couple of pieces of wood through here um another thing i noticed too the other guy <laughs> the other day i was talking to a fellow and he had pointed this out to me and um this actually has a tall four-way and this is what that we call this the tall four-way but in order to get a single wedge out of our machines, a single split, you don't have to remove anything. You just lower the wedge down and then you have your single wedge. And the other nice thing about that too is if you're into something stringy, the uh, pusher actually comes right up against the uh, the knife itself. There's only about three eighths of an inch there. So it comes up flush where with the other ones, if it's a slip over to Zion, it's short probably an inch, inch and a half sort of thing. So. Um, just something to keep in mind. Uh, most species, you're probably not going to run into too much of an issue with it. Um, however, you're, if you're into something that's really naughty, twisty, or whatever, I think you may find that a wee bit. You might need to pull some stuff apart. Big deal, probably not. But just uh, just something I had a fellow point out to me the other day. Um, anyways, guys, I'll get this fired up for you, and I'll show you how it works.
Well guys, there you have it, an Easter made 511 log splitter. Um, these things work great guys. As you can see, every machine does indeed have its limits. So if you know what, what species of wood that was that stopped that, drop a comment down below. That stuff that, uh, that it was split in there, it can be really, really nasty if it grows out in the open and it gets dried out like that. I think a lot of guys that don't know what it is will be surprised to hear what species that actually is. I've had a, I've had some that come from down in the city and it's just, uh, I don't know what happens to it. It just kind of turns to a rock. It's, uh, it can be some really, really nasty, nasty stuff or it can be the most beautiful stuff you've ever split. So, um, anyways guys, that's the video. Give her a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. We will be on live Saturday night with Skitter Kev and Patty and Jeff from Mountaintop Outdoors. So don't miss that. It's eight o'clock this coming Saturday. I think it is the 15th of April. So if you have any questions about our products, any questions about producing firewood, that is a great spot to be on Saturday evening. Um, so come on out. Um, we'll have lots of, uh, it's always a good time. It's always a lot of fun guys. So just come on out to it. It should be, should, should be a good night at it. Um, anyways guys, really appreciate all of your support. I appreciate all the feedback and I really hope to see you on the next one.